I am wondering, what became of all those tall abstractions that you suppose, robed and statuesque in paintings? My poem is The Death of Allegory by Billy Collins. I like the poem overall because it talks about poetry. It was an interesting insight that he had about how we used to have these grand, um, big abstractions, and now we have little things and everything so mundane. And I like the comparison between the old way of art and the new way that we make art. The Death of Allegory by Billy Collins I am wondering, what became of all those tall abstractions that you suppose, robed and statuesque in paintings, and parade about on the pages of the Renaissance, displaying their capital letters like license plates. Truth, cantering on a powerful horse. Chastity, eyes downcast, fluttering with veils. Each one was marble, come to life, a thought in a coat. Courtesy, bowing with one hand always extended. Villainy, sharpening an instrument behind a wall. Reason with her crown and constancy alert behind a helm. They are all retired now, consigned to a Florida for tropes. Justice is there, standing by an open refrigerator. Valor lies in bed, listening to the rain. Even death has nothing to do but mend his cloak and hood, and all their props are locked away in a warehouse. Hourglasses, globes, blindfolds, and shackles. Even if you called them back, there are no places left for them to go, no garden of mirth or bower of bliss. The valley of forgiveness is lined with condominiums, and chainsaws are howling in the forest of despair. Here, on the table near the window, is a vase of peonies, and next to it black binoculars and a money clip, exactly the kind of thing we now prefer. Objects that sit quietly on a line in lowercase. Themselves and nothing more. A wheelbarrow. An empty mailbox. A razor blade resting in a glass ashtray. As for the others. The great ideas on horseback and the long-haired virtues in embroidered gowns. It looks as though they have traveled down that road you see on the final page of storybooks, the one that winds up a green hillside and disappears into an unseen valley where everyone must be fast asleep. Funded by the North Dakota Council on the Arts and by the members of Prairie Public.